Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Janet and I run a Depop, a website called Primary Studios where I sell secondhand and vintage fashion. Today I'm doing another thrift haul and a try on as well of everything that I got. I went to Savers and I only had 30 minutes to look around because I had to go get dinner. But I actually ended up finding quite a few things that I liked, which is pretty rare for me. Usually I don't find these many things at once, but luckily I did. So let's just get right into it. First thing that I found is this wool pleated skirt and it's from the brand. Lance End and it's made out of 100% wool and 100% acetate lining. It looks like it's probably a size small, maybe like a 25, 26. It's more of a midi length and it has some really nice crisp pleats on it and it's just a very classic piece. It is very warm and cute and cozy so I picked that one up. I'm always a fan of finding nice skirts at the thrift store so this one was a great find. The next item that I found is this really cool houndstooth jacket. I'm just picking it out randomly from the pile so there is no rhyme or reason to this but it is from the brand ER Gerald for Renlin. From the tag and the style I'm assuming this is like a lace 80s maybe early 90s piece it does have shoulder pads but they're not very intense which is why i'm guessing they're more of like a late 80s piece i really like the frog closures on the front i feel like it's such a fun and unique closure detail i'm personally really into like toggle closures i recently bought a coat with one that i'm going to wear when i go to new york in a week and i also have one on this cardigan that i bought off of depop and i just really like the detail because it's not a closure that you see on a lot of different garments so when you have it it just looks so much more interesting and fun so yeah i really like that detail on here and i like the preppy vise on this as well it is more of a cropped length so it has a nice structure to it it's lined and it has a subtle houndstooth pattern and it's in like really great condition so I really thought this would be a fun little piece to have. Okay, this next piece is really cool and it is a denim jacket. As you know, I pretty much can never not have at least one piece of denim in any of my hauls. And this is from the brand Paris Blues. I think they're still around now, but from the tag and everything, I'm guessing this is like maybe 80s to Y2K. I had to do a little bit more research, but I just like the shape of it. It's cropped. But it does have a more like blousey effect on the top. It has a stand-up collar and it has snap buttons on the side. It also has this like back U detail for the seam. And it also has pockets, which I love. So I'm really glad I found this one. I think it has a really interesting shape. And you don't find a lot of denim jackets with this kind of more cropped fitted at the hem silhouette. I am always such a sucker for denim. And I like how these details are more minimal, but they make a statement because they're not like your usual trucker jacket style. I find that cropped jackets tend to look better with dresses, especially when you're wearing like a midi to maxi length dress. So excited to try this one on and see what it looks like. The next piece I got is because I follow this account on Instagram called style.analytics, I think. And the user posts a lot of different like analytics about fashion. And one of the things that she mentioned was that leopard print is coming back in, which I did kind of see happening because I know the trends that seem to be coming up now are the ones that were popular when I was like in middle school and leopard print was huge when I was in middle school. So this is what I ended up getting. It is a maxi length skirt from Valerie Stevens and it's made out of 100% silk. Isn't it beautiful? And I love this print. I feel like this is one of those prints that can go from any season. So you can wear this spring, summer, fall, winter, and it looks good. And the maxi length means that if it's like cold outside, you can just wear leggings underneath. But when it is spring and summer, it's made out of silk. So it's very lightweight. Plus I like the colors on it. It's like a dark brown and a medium tan color. It's not the usual like black and brown, which I think makes the print look a little bit less harsh. Plus because it's made out of silk, it has a really wonderful drape to it. And anything that has good drape is something that I like to pick up because it just makes the garment look so much more like elegant and fresh and classic and this one is just a great piece to have i feel like leopard print never really goes out of style i love it i love the print i like how it's not too out there but it is that definitely that cheetah print next piece is this gray little blouse and it's from the brand breaking loose you can tell it's vintage because it has a paper tag right there that is completely worn away and it's like kind of fuzzy almost because it's been so worn but the actual garment itself is in perfect condition it does have some shoulder pads right here to give the more shape and i actually don't think they're very intense this is how big they are i've been really into like finding tops that have a bit more of a cinched silhouette so i do like that detail on here 
As you can see, it has like some contrasting buttons down the center. It has that little seam right here just to make it a little more fitted at the waist. Because the trend has been to wear very oversized things for the past probably five years or so, I feel like the more fitted, more tailor silhouettes are starting to come back in again. This is something that would perfectly fit into that, but I also like pairing more elegant like office wear things like this with baggy jeans so i think that would be a really great pairing with this and maybe like a pair of black boots or my tabby boots or something like that it's like kind of like an updated button down shirt and i really like that the next piece is another wool pleated skirt i am kind of obsessed with them i just like the pattern on this one especially the color on this is so beautiful it's a traditional scottish kilt you can just tell from the brand name right here geoffrey taylor Highland Crafts Royal Miles Scotland and it's made out of pure new wool made in the United Kingdom. I like the print of the tartan and the pleats and everything. The length is beautiful and I do like the little buckles on the side so very very cute and I know that this is technically um, a kilt but I feel like you could just wear it as you know a plaid skirt. The next one doesn't look as impressive when you just look at it but i really like the material on this one and it is this gray skirt from the brand kiko comfortable clothing in a size large it has an elastic waist and it's like a maxi length gray skirt it feels like almost like silk but it's not silk i think it's made out of rayon it had just i don't know the drape on it felt good i like the weight of it it has a little slit on the side as well a very minimal piece but i do think this is something that most people could style very easily in their wardrobe it's kind of a goes with anything type of skirt and i think the color is a little more unique people usually just have like a black skirt or denim skirt but i think this gray is both neutral and wearable but the drape of it the length of it i think that makes it more unique plus you can even wear it as like a tube top if you wanted to too so it would be a little bit more versatile you can wear it as a top or you can wear it as a skirt just the fabric i'm like a sucker for nice fabrics and whenever i find a good one i always pick it up so i'm really excited i got this one this next piece is probably not going to be everyone's cup of tea but i do really like this material and it is this kind of popcorn knit shirt from the brand Raphael. it comes in a really beautiful popcorn knit in this cream color and it has this contrast ruching on the bottom and also you can see that on the hem as well so i've always really liked textured pieces like this i'm also really into pleats or plisse fabrics and i think it just adds a lot of interest to Nava without having to use pattern and prints because i'm generally not someone who really likes pattern or prints i only really wear like stripes maybe and then sometimes plaids and then most of my other prints that i personally wear are more understated classic prints so i don't really love wearing anything other than that so that's why i feel like to add more interest to my wardrobe since i don't have those things to assist my styling choices i have texture something like this is always really nice to find and i really like the silhouette of this one as well we have two more blouses left this is a pretty quick haul i guess this one is a cream silk blouse by the brand it's kind of hard to read the tag but there's a tag right there i always find these and i always love to have them because they're just so classic and i really like the details on this one it has a more simple silhouette and it has covered buttons very like drapey and not too fussy i don't know something about it was just calling out to me so i got this one and i'm really glad i did it's so easy to style and i love pieces like this last but not least i have this gray please say please i really need to figure out how to say that word because i really love the texture of it but it's a gray please or please say top it has different textures of please on it it's like a little bit i don't know i don't know how to describe it but it has different levels or Leading levels of piece and the bottom is a little bit more flared than the rest it reminds me of the japanese designer isei miyake and you know his pieces are not cheap so i'm glad to find things that resemble his work at the thrift store and they're usually pretty fairly priced especially compared to you know what they usually go for this one doesn't have any brand tags on it so i'm not sure where it's from i do think it's a more of a modern top but I don't mind because I think it's beautiful. I think it's a great basic to have. And I'm such a sucker for buying button down shirts at the thrift store. Button downs are a lot more fun because you find a lot of interesting textures and you find a lot of interesting materials and cuts and just there's a lot more variety. That is everything I found from this trip to Savers. And otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.